In March 2022, $625 million was drained from blockchain game Axie Infinity's Ronin network in the largest decentralized finance hack to date. On August 8th, the U.S. Department of the Treasury's Office of Foreign Asset Control, or OFAC, sanctioned crypto mixer Tornado Cash, citing its use in several money laundering schemes that totaled $7 billion. It prevents all U.S. citizens uh, abroad and in the U.S., as well as anyone else on U.S. soil, from interacting with these uh, you know, addresses, transacting, engaging with it in any way, uh, lest they risk you know, criminal penalties. Tornado Cash was allegedly a key tool for the North Korean hacking group Lazarus, which laundered the stolen crypto from Ronin. Basically, the Treasury Department is saying, you know, if uh, Tornado Cash is unable to prevent or mitigate this kind of money laundering, it is a national security concern. So how do crypto mixers like Tornado Cash work? And are they legal? Most cryptocurrency transactions are publicly recorded on a blockchain. Crypto mixers, also known as crypto blenders or crypto tumblers, aim to make it harder to track individual transactions by mixing the source of funds with other funds. There are two types of mixers, centralized and decentralized. Centralized mixers, like the previously sanctioned Blender.io, are companies that will take your Bitcoin, stir it with other deposited Bitcoins, and send back an equivalent amount of deposited Bitcoin for a fee. While they offer an easy solution for tumbling Bitcoin, they also present a privacy challenge as the company may maintain a record that can link transactions together. Tornado Cash is an example of a decentralized mixer that operates on the Ethereum network. It instead deploys smart contracts that allow users to deposit an ERC20 token to one address and withdraw from another address. The ability to obfuscate cryptocurrency transactions make mixers an obvious hotbed for money laundering. But crypto mixers are not inherently illegal. You know, I think there's no question that there undoubtedly are and have been legitimate users of Tornado Cash out there and, and other mixers for that matter. You know, the U.S. government has never said at any point that it's illegal to use all mixers or that legitimate users of mixers are doing anything wrong. In fact, Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin tweeted that he used the service to make a donation to support Ukraine's war efforts. Ultimately, crypto mixers are a tool that can be used to enhance user privacy and make crypto transactions more anonymous. That said, what does this sanction mean for the future of privacy? But the bigger picture I think is really important and it is something that people are going to get loud about in terms of thinking how to work these issues out so that the prospect of online native currency can exist in a way that is private by default, but not criminally so, right? Privacy is not a crime.